Let's cut right to the shit. Okay. I saw Bird Box. Oh. And I kind of want to have a discussion about it. All right, let's do it. What's it about? A Bird Box? No, what do you think it's about? Um, it, Spoiler, watch Bird Box if you have Yeah, haven't. we're about to spoil the shit out of this, so... Cut ahead if you don't want that. Um, are you saying? Are you asking about like the social commentary that it's the obviously, underlying? Social obviously, <laughs> this movie is all metaphorical. Yeah, there's a, that's why it doesn't show the monsters. Is that what you're asking? Like, yeah. So when I say what what is it about, I obviously understand. Yeah, physically what it shows you. Okay, I'm talking about the metaphorical. What are they really saying with this film? Because the reason I ask is because I watched it and I had a very strong opinion. I thought I got it. Yeah, like, I totally got it. I had it. And then I just wanted to see what ever because everybody was talking about it so much. I googled other people's hmm, assumptions, and, okay. and I read a bunch of other explanations. Well, tell me because I'll be and honest. They, like, all all the other explanations that I found made every bit as much sense as the one that I had come okay. to on my own. So, like, I'd like to hear that because <clears> I'm trying to think. Like, obvi- I think there's some obvious like connotations happening, but I'm tr- I'm I'm trying to piece it together in my head. I'll be honest. I haven't thought too much about like the meta and it. I haven't thought about it in the metaphorical sense, so I would like I to hear wonder, some of those opinions. I wonder if the filmmakers intentionally made it like it's obviously ambiguous. Yeah. But I wonder if they made it so open that it could apply to multiple things, or if they had an actual thing that, like a metaphor that they were trying to put forth, and we're just all interpreting it differently. Hmm. My, do you have any guesses here before I say what I'm um, gonna say? It's obviously something regarding like as soon as you see the truth like you know it drives you mad or something like that so there's there's some see, shit that's not my assumption either. there's some shit like that but I, and that I, works like i said i would like to hear some um okay. some real opinions on so it. other opinions seeing the truth and driving you mad that is another explanation that i haven't seen and that makes great sense for what it is my assumption was it was religion oh okay the reason that i say that is because there's all these people. There's like the crazy people that are trying to force you have to see it. It's so beautiful. Like they're pushing religion on you. Look, look, open your eyes, look. And all these people are like, no, get the fuck away yeah. from me. I don't want to believe in your religion. You know what I'm saying? And then when they finally are like forced into it, they go fucking crazy, bro. And it mm. consumes them. And I felt like that was obviously religion. Wow, that sounds then, cool. I've never thought of it like that. Um, like, well, then you also have like... Sandra Bullock's like boyfriend in the movie. He's a martyr, right? He dies for the cause yeah. to save everybody else. Mm-hmm. There's that. Like, it seems so obviously religion. Walking in blind faith. They're covering their eyes the whole movie. Yeah. Like, that seemed obvious to me. But not everybody saw that so clearly the way that I did. I saw things, and I can't detail all these because I don't remember them all perfectly, but like, There are metaphors to how this is an anti-technology movie and how technology is ruining you and how when you get too into your phones and your electronics, it ruins your life. And uh, there's I saw I could see that, too. This could have been like a Black Mirror episode, you know? Yeah. Like, uh, (laughs) I mean, your explanation of it being half a quiet place and half the happening was the most perfect (laughs) comparable. Like, that's exactly what this movie is. And I'm going to be honest. I liked it better than both. Okay, I really I'm glad you liked it. I thought this was a great movie. I really loved it. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad I watched it like right away because there's been so much hype and everybody everybody seems to be talking about it. And it's mainly due to it seems like Netflix went on a meme blitz. Um, I'm guessing to kind of raise awareness for this movie and it fucking worked. Don't get me wrong, having Sandra Bullock and John Malkovich in a Netflix movie is pretty incredible. And MGK too. And MGK. And he played a super douche. And Lil Rel. And what's her yeah. name from American yeah. Horror Story? Yeah. You know? Which well, she was awesome, by the way. They were all good. Yeah, it was to be it, honest. It's a, like there was part a, of me that like because I'm not a huge MGK fan. Yeah. Like when he was on there, I was like, uh, Annie plays a scumbag, and I know that that. You playing a scumbag in a movie in no way, shape, or form memes are a scumbag in real life, but it was hard for me to like disassociate (laughs) myself from that with like the whole Eminem thing recently happened and everything. He was good in it though. Like he he was. He he did. He did. No, he did. He did a good job. Yeah. Um, I thought John Malkovich was great. He was. He was really good. I thought Sandra Bullock was really good too. Yeah. Um, I think it's all around solid. uh, Like that black dude is from some shit too. Like Um, I don't know his name, but he's from some shit. I've heard. uh, I. I, He's not a nobody actor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna look that guy up. Um, I thought it was great. I did see a lot of people were really upset 
that it didn't show the monsters, which I feel like it didn't you bother sh- me at all. First of all, first of all, if you show the monsters, I feel like it kind of ruins it. It's like the yeah. Blair Witch, you know what I'm saying? Like once you show the witch, it's not the same anymore. Um, God damn it! But I will say, Travante Rhodes probably. I also think if you show the monsters, then it will ruin the ambiguity of the film, which I think is really important. Yeah. How good the film is. I so agree. Like, I think that's a dumb complaint, and I think. I don't want to be too offensive here, but like I would imagine dumb people don't like ambiguous films because they don't like to come <laughs> to conclusions on sure. their own. Um, I really like that just like as an artist, the way my mind works, that really appeals to me. Um, looks like the only other good shit or popular shit he's been in is The Predator, and it looks like he was in Moonlight. But then again, oh, there it is, yeah. Um, oh. Westworld. Oh, shit. was he in Westworld? Yeah. Or, oh, yeah, he's in one episode, it appears. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I just know I'd seen him before. He was good though. I liked him now, he a lot. Was, he was great. Um, that he, was another thing with like the religion thing is he he goes into that whole thing. I I love this because as an atheist watching this movie and assuming that this was about religion, mm-hmm. there's this whole sequence where he's telling the kids about the the tree and climbing the tree, and she gets Sandra Bullock gets so mad. Yeah. She's like, "Yo, they're never gonna experience that. Why would you say that to him? Like all that." And he goes in this whole thing about like, "Look, you have to believe in something." Like. It doesn't matter if they're like they need some kind of hope. They have to believe in some kind of hope. And I thought that went really well into like touching on like being agnostic. Okay. Like it doesn't necessarily have to be this or that, but right. they have to have something. There's other stuff. There's other options. And I thought that was like a really cool layer to the the religion metaphor. So if it is if it is a religion metaphor or any of these metaphors that you've brought up, um, what? How do you think the end ties into that? Into any of these um, opinions? Like the end, meaning like she finally gets to the place where they actually can stay not blindfolded and they're back to civilization. Like, what do you think that would represent? Or what have you? I what think did the you? Blind read? people will be atheists. Okay, they're blind. They can't see. And it's finally, once she's with them, like she's it, safe. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying like they're blind. They can't. There's buy nothing into to be religion. afraid of. So, yeah, yeah. exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm, that's a good point. Um. And again, that might not at all be what it is. That's how I interpreted it, but yeah. I've seen a lot of things. That That's cool. Sense, I, so. I, I actually hadn't read anything like that. I haven't... I'm also an atheist, so it's easy for me to adapt that to my beliefs. Sure. So that could be just but, me applying my own, projecting myself onto the film. I could also see a religious person watching it and getting literally the exact opposite, where this might reaffirm that... She finally found Jesus. You know what I mean? Like that's it's literally the devil out to get them. Like they could probably interpret it like that. So you could really skew it any way you want. Even still, from beginning to end, I think it's a really like fun, like adrenaline. To be very clear, ride. To be like, very, clear. it's a good movie. I love religion is fiction. Yeah. So like. Be, just because I'm an atheist doesn't mean I can't appreciate like yeah. films about religion or anything. Like not everything has to be atheist for me to enjoy it. Like the Passion can, of the Christ. I, I haven't seen it actually. I heard it was just like a two hour snuff film, so I never. It watched really it. is. It's pretty but, bad. Uh, I mean, it's it's a good movie, but you're right. But like I can totally appreciate things about religion and enjoy them as fiction. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than watching Game of Thrones or something. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, and that's cool. Which, by so, the like, way, please start watching that because the new season's about to know, start in April. Uh, but like. <laughs> It doesn't have to be an atheist thing for me for me to enjoy it, but that's just how I perceive the movie. Well, of course, yeah. Um, I got you. Um, but what what would you give it on a scale of one to ten? It's definitely a monster bash for me. Um, I, I, I would it give nine, it nine, bro. I thought it was yeah. really good. I, I thought it was really half. good. I liked it a lot. Me too. I thought it was great. Um, oh, yeah. Also, just on the other thing, when I was uh, when I was touching on the people getting mad about not seeing the monsters, <laughs> I also monster think it's bash. it's hard for them to show the monsters. Yeah. Because I think they made it pretty obvious that everybody, when they see it, it shows them, like, their own true fears. So it's not the same for everybody. Yeah, that's true. You know, there's, like, the chick, like, right at the beginning when the uh, she gets in the car wreck and she they pull her into the house. The chick comes out. She's like, Mom? Ma? And she's yeah. seeing her own. Like, everybody sees their own right, right. personal fear or whatever. So, that's like, why you they can't. Can, that's, it's not a monster. Like, that's right. why they can't show well, it. They, there's like, nothing I to show. I just saw a thing last night that was, like, the filmmakers had, like, a monster that they created to show in the film. And they decided Ooh. not to. I'm glad they didn't, honestly. Um, and I, the way that they were going to show it was it was going to be, like, a baby monster because it was supposed to be Sandra Bullock fear her baby. And that's what she was going to see. That sounds pretty dumb. But they didn't show it. I Thankfully. mean, and and they they said like the film creators were like we think we made the right decision not showing it. I think they did too. Me too. Um, but dope. I I really loved it. I'm I thought glad it was you, great. I'm glad you liked it because I, I was worried that maybe you would shit on it. But no, that movie was the shit, bro. Happy that was really it. good.
Hey. Hey. Thanks for watching and or listening. If you did that, um, we are Iconoclash. We are live every Tuesday on Facebook. So do the stuff. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Check out Iconoclash.net. I'm not going to play. <laughs> See ya.